This video I've been meaning to make for so long, probably as long since we started, over three years ago, finally got round to it. So it's, do you, do you set your bricks the right way up? And when I was an apprentice, one of the first things I got taught was, you've got to put your bricks the right way up. And I thought that was like tartan paint or a left-handed screwdriver or sky hooks. I thought I was getting them wound up. But it's true, you've got to set your brick the right way up. So here's a few examples. Um, I mean, different parts of the country call these different things, but it's called the feather of the brick, which is the pattern. So if you come this side, Alex, these are all set the right way up. So as you can see, apart from that one, obviously, as you can see, they all have a distinct like a crease in it but if you look at if you look down the crease it's smooth if you look up the crease you so have to bring it around yeah, yeah let's get some light on it so do it again right. if you look down the crease your brick's smooth or if you look up the crease you'll see and it's rough as well this means if you set that brick that way up there's a chance water can gather in the in the feather and then it can soak into the brick and the, it can be blown by the frost that one's quite a small one. This one on the other hand is very rough. See again, you can, you can really, it's really distinct when it's the long way up. So that's it. And the other thing is, you've got to learn for speed, is, uh, is spinning the brick, which sounds daft, but it's something that becomes second nature. So, same with the same with your common. Obviously, you frog up. So if you pick your brick up, it's been stacked upside down. Then you want that. You don't want to be going to put it in. Pick it up. Basically, you flick your wrist. Do that with your wrist, and you spin it on the finger, or your thumb, or your wrist. So I usually do it on the finger. So I'll try and do this in slow motion if I can. it so that's that's got your frog back up to the top so let me spin it back again so it's back down again so it's back up the other, the other the other way people do it is oh no um let me think back to uh, yeah if you want it if you've got your You pick your brick up and the face is away from you. Spin it on your on your wrist. Spin it around like that on your wrist. But it's on your finger to send it the other way. That sends it up, upside down. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So it, obviously, it, at first when you're looking at them, you've got to check first. This one here, I think this is called an Aldridge multi-rustic or a Staffordshire multi-rustic they're very similar brick nice brick as well but with these when you look on the back they have Ibstock written on them and Ibstock is printed the right way up now there's, uh, there's some very similar bricks to these were made in the Holland years ago they called up the Holland rustics and on the back it was always, print, always stamped in the back UPHO Russ which is up Holland rustic and it was always printed the right way up. <laughs> so that was Christine ringing up then that's her own special ringtone so I've just noticed while it's in the video there was no outro to the video so basically it's mainly for beginners and DIYers who, who don't know you don't always get taught it should do so um, keep, keep an eye on that if you're doing a wall there's loads of different bricks and they've all got similar kind of faces so if you're a DIYer or a young apprentice or just starting out make sure you check those bricks and make sure that face is the right way up and if you're a more experienced bricklayer you may not have known so you know now and if you do know and you don't bother you should know better I've seen a lot of slashes on site that throw them in and not bothered which way up they go and it does make a difference and it does look better when the right way up and 
last one is also when you're doing soldier bricks as well if you keep them the same on the soldiers it always looks better so that's it if you if you like the video make sure you click the like button which we always appreciate subscribe if you if you're new to us uh, there's getting on for 200 videos now and um yeah click the notification button so you'll always know when we're uploading a video so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one